Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Tuesday, February the 28th, 2017. Looking at a daily chart now here of the gold futures, as you can see, coming off just a little bit here, uh, getting down into the uh, the 1240 range, 1247.90 is where we currently are. And as you can see, basically consolidating within the expanded trading range where we're now uh, supports around 1236 and resistance is around 1265 alright so we're basically trading in a thirty dollar range in gold right now and I believe that that's going to continue to uh, oscillate a bit and we'll probably get into a new high uh, sometime uh, possibly next week uh, is what I'm seeing we're probably just going to consolidate this week and end up uh, lower for the week which sets up the rally for the following week so that's kind of where we are right now we would like to see uh, us stay on a closing basis above the 12 uh, 39 30 range we're, we're kind of going back to the magic 1240 again so that's where we are we were there uh, a week ago we're talking about the 1240 the 1229 and the 1216 and the 1206 so four very spectacular supports that support this recent goal rally that we're on so that's kind of the same setup now we just expanded our top side range but we're still trading in a range all right and this is on the daily on the weekly chart we're still in the Kumo cloud. We have not broken out of the cloud. We're just midway deep into the cloud. All right, so 1270 is in play. We just want to see if we can get that 1270 on a close. The jury's still not out. We can still do it this week, but I do think we're going to get into the 1270s here momentarily. So we're going to have to watch uh, the cues, the momentum cues for this one. But as it stands right now, uh, the market is losing a bit of its momentum as of right now but this is considered let's see where we closed yesterday yeah we lost um, we lost the the bullish momentum based on today's close this right here what you're seeing is already tomorrow's trading session so we're in the next day session so we're gonna get we're gonna need to get back above really 1250 would seal the deal we can close above 1250 for Wednesday's trading that would be great because then that would put the floor in for this support and then get us in, in, into a close of 1270 by Friday so that's kind of where we are right now we're, we're still consolidated within a range taking a look at silver silver is holding its own it's not showing that kind of weakness like gold is so out of the two, silver is the strongest, and it's looking good right here. Taking a look at the U.S. dollar index, the U.S. dollar index also is beefing up, trying to get back top side of the Kumo cloud. Like I was warning, it wants to get back up. We need to get to the 102 handle. I think that's possible. 102 is in play whether people like it or not a close above 10150 would set the course for that 102 close for some time possibly next week maybe we'll give it two weeks we'll give it a two-week time frame looking at the bonds all right bonds are, are pretty much like gold just really you can see the chart is just stretched out this is a, a hyper elongated um, chart here as you can see we're still trading basically within January the 5th's trading range. That's all we're doing. We're oscillating between 150 and 153. That's it. All right? That's all we're doing. All right? 150 to 153. The market's not being allowed to fall below it, and the market's not being allowed to rally above it. It's just a total mess 
and this is the daily chart and you can just see where it's totally stretched out and elongated looking here at the weekly chart in the bonds pretty much the same picture it's trying to rally off of this um, this uh, this weak low here try to build a base trying to set the tone for a rally all right, and we're squeezing and narrowing in now, so it is a possibility that it could try to break out or even break back down again. Uh, we'll see what happens here. I don't, I don't think that, um, I don't think it's going to necessarily break down. I think it wants to rally from here. All right, but with the Fed's policy of shock and awe, surprise, uh, raising rates in between meetings, doing it sometime in March we'll see what happens I think there's going to be a Fed rate hike uh, in March in between meetings without warning middle of the day the trading session so that they can gauge the market's response and see um, people's reactions see, gauge public sentiment they've done it before so the precedent is there and we're long overdue for them to do it again it's been quite a while since they've done that all right, taking a look now at crude oil. Crude oil right now is also elongated and it's hanging out. It needs to close above 55. If it can do that, then the race is on to the top. All right, let's take a look at GDXJ for a moment. All right, GDXJ on the weekly chart is extending to the downside here, as you can see pulling up the daily chart all right so we're bearish on both time frames we are now without question bearish on the momentum gauge and we've dropped below that last support so it could crash through the Kumo cloud like a hot knife through butter uh, and we're giving back quite a bit of gains here so this is problematic we do have some uh, some price destruction and we have dam technical damage now on the chart can it find a floor and just surprise us and rock it back up again it's possible but it's looking bad so let's see here what that has to do for the JDST well here's your JDST and it is catching a bid alright gotta get up to that 2129 resistance so 2129 is now in play for JDST. Looking at dust, dust is also getting right next to that 3493 resistance. All right, so we'll just say 34, $35 is resistance. A close above that $35 would open the door for a 40 run, for a run to 40. So I think the market does want to run to 40 at least. So. Forty dollars is now in play in the DUST. Uh, let's take a look at the Nasdaq right quick. See if we can find any cues. Looking at the chart. All right, it's kind of looking like gold a little bit. All right, still has its bullish complexion, and it's still bullish. The momentum here. Uh, let's see. Yep, still bullish the momentum. But since equities are better priced, let's see what we can find in the QQQ. So we can find a, a different clue there. All right, in the QQQ, we are bullish the momentum as well. And we just came off of a new high. And we're in a very narrow trading range right now. Last week was a narrow trading range as well. So with that said, the markets are just hanging out. On a weekly, though, we do need to stay above 128.15. So as long as the market can stay above that 128.15, I think uh, the bullish com complexion remains intact in the NASDAQ as well. So with that being said, let's, let's look at natural gas will end it here and let's see what's going on since we rolled over the contract from Friday 
All right, so here we are in the 270s. Looks like the market wants to make a run to the 280s. All right, looks like 280, 28, uh, 2874, and then back to the three dollar handle. All right, so from 287 up, back up to 307. So looks like uh, the first line of resistance is that 287. Can it get to 287? I think so. I think 287 is in play. It is in jeopardy of being violated. A failure to close above 287, though, will open the door to test the lows. So we're at a crossroads. Where do we go from here? Natural gas? We'll have to wait and see. So remember, postwavetrading.com. You can come and learn how to trade and navigate these rough waters that we call Wall Street markets. Learn how to hedge your portfolio of physicals. Learn how to profit from what the central banks do and don't do. Learn how to profit from what the Fed does or doesn't do. PulseWaveTrading.com. Remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back. Peace.